city of Roscommon, Rose City, Harrison, Keno, Waters, Gaylord, Wildwood, Grayling, Pier Cheney, Gladwin, West Branch, Merritt, Morristown, Mio, Houghton Lake, and all the great communities around Houghton Lake, the greater Houghton Lake area. Come to you in the name of the Lord with a message. Repent and be baptized for the kingdom of heaven is near. Any of you who do not know Jesus Christ as Savior, I invite you to accept Christ today and be saved. Don't wait till it's too late. We're all sinners. We all need Jesus for grace, mercy, salvation, and eternal life, among other good things. All good things. All good things come from God. And so, do you want to be on God's team or not? That's what it comes down to, to make it, to simplify things. You won't, God won't send you to hell. If you choose not to be with God at the end, He will grant you your wishes. That's your request. He's an honorable God. You say, I want to be separate from God. He'll say, okay. But I want to encourage you to say, out, say you want to be with God and be with God forever. Right now, we're all recipients, non-Christians and Christians, of God's general revelation. He's given us some good things that everybody gets right now here on earth. But not everybody will get those good things after they die if they choose to be separated from God. So I'm asking you now, do you want to be with God forever? And maybe also with your friends and family if they're Christians as well? Or do you want to be separate from God and see what it's like? I hope you say, I want to be with God. I want to be on God's team. In order to be on God's team, it, you must begin by acknowledging that you're a sinner and confessing those sins, not to me, but to God, to Jesus, who died on the cross to save us from our sins. And if you say you're not a sinner, the Bible says you're a liar. And the Bible is our law book, and our blessings book, and our book of the Spirit, and the Word, and the lo of the Lord. It's the good, it's the good book. The word of the Lord. And we trust in it, we believe in it. Sure, you need it helps to have some knowledge of other material and languages to understand it perfectly. But nobody understands it perfectly, even though some understand it better than others. And the main thing is is that you believe in Jesus. It's not necessarily your theological profundity or profoundness. There are great theologians who don't actually even believe. You can be a great scholar, professor, read about God all your life, but if you don't accept Jesus Christ into your heart, it doesn't make a difference. They will be separate from God as well. Because they're not, well, they'll either, they're either not sincere or they're not even pretending to be Christians. There are atheists who read a lot of theology. I don't know why they want to waste their time their whole life doing that, but that's up to them. Anyways, I'm getting too far away from the main point here. I'm just saying that right now, to become, become a Christian, begin your life as a Christian, you need to say, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sin. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. If you can say that, then I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and you are now a Christian. Congratulations. Welcome to the family of God, the body of Christ. You can now be assured of going to heaven when you die, as long as you keep the faith, keep going in Christ, keep believing, and start telling the good news. Be an evangelist like I'm doing right now, but do it in your own way. It took me a long time to become a full-time Christian evangelist and find a way that seems to be uh, working for me and others. This is what I call my attempt to fulfill the Great Commission and start a revival, a Great Awakening. Learn more about Great Awakenings. Read that online. Google that. 
We haven't had one in a while. And so I'm traveling across the United States this summer, preaching and teaching and telling the good news. And mostly online. I also do a little bit on spontaneously when I meet people here and there on the road. But um can't do it like you used to do it where they go to town to town and just start speaking out loud and get a crowd and now they call that disturbing the peace unfortunately so I do it this way by posting it online I hope you see it sooner or later and take it to heart uh, there is one advantage of doing it this way that it lasts a long time online So, here we are now, I'm in uh, the Houghton Lake area, just came from Traverse City, I was there for a while, and now I'm heading out of Michigan, I'm going to stop by the All-Star Game in Cleveland, which is in two days from now, do a little good news evangelism there, and then continue onward and if you're already a Christian around here I want to encourage you to keep the faith keep growing if you've fallen away become lukewarm to recommit like a new Christian you can start over but give it all you got 110% and I'll add more for you to read in the box below and I'll be praying for everybody God be with you and bless you in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit